What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard. Before I get into this, because this is going to upset a lot of people, and you're going to say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know basketball. Da 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 da. So let me first say this. I believe Damian Lillard has went from being a very underrated player, underrated point guard player, to over the last couple of years being extremely overrated. I think he went from underrated to overrated. I was one of the biggest Dame Dollar supporters before he really blew up with fame. Like really, really blew up with Dame time and everything else. I was one of the few people saying, y'all nah, don't forget about Dame. Don't forget about Dame. This dude nice. This dude nice. Everybody talking about Steph Curry. Everybody talking about Kyrie. Kyrie. Everybody talking about all those other point guards. I'm like, this dude Dame nice. This dude, nobody talks about him. He's in Portland. Even back when he was playing with LaMarcus Aldridge. I was a LaMarcus Aldridge supporter at one time. And I was like, nah, this dude Dame. And I was one of his biggest supporters, to be honest with you. But I'm going to keep it real. Just because I support you and I rock with you, if you start underperforming, or I think you're getting much more credit and love than you deserve, and other things, I, I have to call you out for it, or I have to call people out for it, for not acknowledging other things. Just just, just the truth. It's all one. It's the truth, man. The truth. And Damian Lillard is now, in my opinion, a bit overrated. He is. And the thing about Damian Lillard is for whatever reason, this guy is safeguarded by, it just seems like everybody, safeguarded from criticism, safeguarded from scrutiny. How people talk about Dame Lillard, how you never hear anybody really criticize his game or, or critique his game or put blame on this guy you would think that this guy has never had a bad season, a bad playoff series, a bad game in his career. You would swear. I never see any Damian Lillard detractors. And as much as I get on Bron sexuals for the BS they be saying, even Steph sexuals sometimes for the BS they be saying, at least these guys, they have people that speak very highly of them. Some keep it real, some don't keep it real, and then you have detractors. Some that speak very lowly of them, or just keep it real. Some telling the truth, some not telling the truth. You know, it's it's a mixed bag. But they but they have it on both sides, is where I'm getting at. Damian Lillard, this dude ain't got no detractors. Nobody critiquing him. Nobody criticizing him. It blows my mind. And now, I've been tussling with Dame Sexuals all day because I felt the need to call out his performances. And of course, they don't want to hear that. They don't like what I got to say. They don't. They absolutely do not like what I have to say about Damian Lillard. And this guy is safeguarded. Ever since that, really honestly, ever since that shot against OKC, he blew up exponentially, to be honest with you. Exponentially. And I get it. Like I told you, I, I rocks with Dane. It was a great shot. And, you know, it was uh, storybook fashion with the camera. And he, everybody's holding him. He's just looking and snapshots a perfect shot. Like, I get it. That's all great. But this dude has been hiding around this game winner and maybe some other game winners I might be forgetting about. But mainly, he's been hiding around behind some game winners in the playoffs way too long. Way too long. I, I swear, that's, you would have think that's the only thing this dude did in his career. He played one game, had a game winner, and retired. And he's getting his great. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
Why is this guy not held to the same standard as his contemporaries? Why? He is safe. And what, I mean, like I said, I keep saying he's safeguarded. He's absolutely, you know what they say? But he's loyal. He's safeguarded by loyal because he's loyal. We're going to ignore everything else. We're going to ignore his shortcomings because he's loyal. Oh, look at him. So loyal. But I've seen other players be loyal for an extensive amount of time. They never said that about them. It was always no excuses. Why don't you have a ring? Why are you falling short in the playoffs? We don't care if you're loyal. We don't care about that anymore. We want to see you do it. Get it done. That's what they say about other, some other players. But they never said that about Dame Lillard. It blows my mind. And for me, for me, I'm not going to bash a player as hard if they necessarily don't win a championship. A lot of things got to go right in a championship. Only one team wins a championship each year. Everybody can't win the championship, okay? But even if you go out in the playoffs early, at least show me that you perform in the process like I don't necessarily have to point at you and say you are a big reason why this team failed to advance I understand you're the leader and I understand you're going to take the blame but if I can look at it, if I can watch the game see and be like you, you know really they were just outgunned outmatched but you know Dame still went out there and did what he had to do I wouldn't even, I ain't even I I can understand that and I have always understood that about players to some degree. But it baffles me when people don't keep it consistent with everybody. And Dame Lillard is being safeguarded by but he's loyal and hiding behind that game winner against OKC. And y'all ain't gonna like what I gotta say. Y'all don't. But y'all need to keep it consistent. If this guy is as great, and I think Damian Lillard's a great player, don't get me wrong. He has his flaws. Every player has his flaws. But nobody points out Damian Lillard's flaws. Nobody. We can point out Steph Curry's flaws. We can point out LeBron's flaws. Flaws. Russell Westbrook. Paul George. Anthony Davis. Giannis. Luka. All these guys. Except Damian Lillard. And if he's supposed to be as great as these guys, as what everybody says, I don't think he's on their tier. But if he's a, as great as all these guys, why is he not held to the same standard? Maybe because he's not quite up to their level. Maybe. But nobody wants to admit it. And I was a big Dame supporter. And I still support him. But I'm just keeping it real about where he is. And all people say is how, how great of a playoff performer Damian Lillard is. And people criticize James Harden. Criticize Russell Westbrook. Criticize Paul George. Especially James Harden. And rightfully so. Especially James Harden. For keep coming up short in the playoffs. And has an extensive record of shortcomings. And not performing well. In playoff series. He has. But Damian Lillard has a bit of a record himself in the playoffs for underperforming. But like I said, nobody talks about it. They conveniently ignore it. And you would think that this guy was the greatest playoff performer of all time, how people talk about him. This is going to hurt some of you. This is going to, and y'all know me. I'm not a big stats person. I'm not. I look at the numbers, I apply context, I watch games. So before I went and dug these numbers up, I dug the numbers up because I watched all of these series and I watched Damian Lillard play as a Dame supporter, especially during these times. And all I could remember was watching the game and and watching the game and saying, Dame is messing up. Dame is not showing up. Dame is shooting horribly. Dame is playing lesser than what we are used to seeing in the regular season. Dame did not show up. He is a big reason why the team is not doing well in this game or in this series. 
I saw it already. I have the context. So then I went just now and dug up the numbers to see if my memory serves me right, and it absolutely did. Now, let me start here. Let me start here. Let's go to the 2016 Conference Finals against the Golden State Warriors. Now, looking at the points, 31.8 points per game. Great, Dame. But the dude took a lot of shots and was shooting poorly and got a lot of those points at the free throw line because he shot 36.2% from the field. 36.2. Take this also into consideration about now the, the NBA was really transitioning at this point into uh, what we have today, heavy three-point shooting, lots and lots and lots of spacing, you know, not the defensive league it was in the past because of the rules, things like that. So especially as we look from 2016 on, there is no excuse to be shooting 36% from the field. 7.6 assists, 4.4 rebounds. 2016. You would think, based on the... If someone's like, this is a player in 2016. This is his stats in the playoffs. That That's all you know. That's all you know. You would think, oh, that was clearly... Even though even though Lakers didn't make the playoffs. You, you would think, but I'm using this as an example. You would think that was clearly <clears throat> Kobe Bryant. You know, Kobe Bryant in his 20th season... Coming off a torn Achilles, a broken knee, and a broken shoulder, a complete shell of himself. A shell of himself. That's why Kobe was shooting a crazy low field goal percentage. Year 20, torn Achilles, broken knee, broken shoulder, giving it all he got. Damian Lillard, you are not in year 20. You did not tear your Achilles, break your knee, and break your shoulder, and giving it all you got. There is no reason for you to be shooting that abysmal. You looking like Shell Kobe Bryant. Shell of himself, way over the hill, beat up, torn to pieces, body gave up on him, Kobe Bean Bryant. That's what you looking like. But you ain't got no excuse for it. 43, 43% from three-point land. He shot well from three. 7.6 assists, 4.4 rebounds. Let's move on. 2018 playoffs, first round versus the New Orleans Pelicans. In this series, Rajon Rondo and Drew Holiday, if I'm not mistaken, shut Damian Lillard down. Completely shut him down. In this series, Damian Lillard, and I believe they got swept. Don't give me, uh, don't quote me, but I think they did. In this series, Dame averaged 18 and a half points per game, shot 35.2 percent from the field. Shot 30% from three-point land. Chipped in 4.8 assists and 4.5 rebounds. Abysmal. Abysmal. Let's fast forward. Next year. Conference finals or conference semifinals versus the Denver Nuggets. 2019 playoffs. Not as bad. 25 points per game, but shot 40% from the field. 28.8% from three-point land. 28%. Now, they did end up winning that, winning that series. They move on to go against the Golden State Warriors. And Damian Lillard, into the next series, continues his abysmal performance. Now, remember, this Warriors team, Kevin Durant, was out with the Achilles injury. Before he came back and, and officially tore it, he did not play in that series against the Portland Trailblazers. And the Portland Trailblazers had a decent squad. And people were unsure if the Warriors would be able to beat them. If I, if I remember correctly, it was like, oh, we don't know now that, now that KD not here. And that series with no Kevin Durant, and it's okay, it's just me and you, Steph. Me and you. Damian Lillard failed to show up yet again. 22 points per game, 4 rebounds, 8 assists. Shot 37.1% from the field. Shot 36.8, pretty decent from three-point land, but 37% from the field. And I remember watching that game, I was like, Damian Lillard has been garbage for two straight series, and nobody was talking about it. He was just getting a pass. Like I said, y'all ain't gonna like, y'all ain't gonna like this. Y'all because I'm just telling the truth, man. Keep it consistent. Now, 
Let's talk about his career playoff numbers. Career. And at a glance, they look okay, right? 25.7 points per game, not bad. 4.5 rebounds, not bad. 6.2 assists, pretty good. But his shooting has been abysmal. For his career in the playoffs, Damian Lillard playing in this era of the NBA, this era, where it is, where it is uh, off offense is emphasized and encouraged, and the rules have changed to allow that. 41.2% from the field. And all y'all want to talk about is, this player's inefficient, this player's inefficient, this player's inefficient. But nobody talks about Damian Lillard being inefficient in the playoffs. Nobody. Apparently, Russell Westbrook is the only person that can be inefficient in the playoffs. You would think. <laughs> Apparently, Russell Westbrook's the only person that can't get it done in the playoffs. You would think. And some other contemporaries that they like to bash, but not Dame. If I told you Damian Lillard for his career, and I, I don't put a lot of weight. See, people talk about plus minus. I don't put a whole lot of weight in plus minus, and I tend to bring it up only when people like to bring it up to bash some players, but don't keep it consistent when the player they support, and they don't bring up the plus minus then when it doesn't work in their favor, or vice versa. But this plus minus is so staggering for a career playoff for a playoff career that I could not ignore it. Damian Lillard, plus minus, career in the playoffs, minus 235. That number is too overwhelming for me to be like, I don't put too much, I don't put too much uh, uh, stock in that stat. When it is that overwhelming, that says a lot, and it and it it aids in my argument about Damian Lillard, which I which I say about him is that Damian Lillard isn't as complete of a basketball player as people like to think he is. When Damian Lillard's jump shot is not falling, he does not always impact the game in other ways like other players can. He is mostly somewhat one-dimensional. Like, there are games where his playmaking seems to be better than others or, or other performances he's had. But as a whole, Damian Lillard isn't the best playmaker. Let's just keep it 100. And he's not a good defender. Let's just keep it a buck. 100. And a minus 235 plus minus on a playoff career is something that I necessarily cannot overlook. And I watched these games, all of them. I saw everything with my eyes. That is all the context. I, I saw it. The dude just did not perform well. But you would never know. Unless you watch these things, you remember it. And go back and, and dig up the and dig up some some supporting facts here. And like I'm not even I'm not even using it against him as like, well, it's not about him not winning a championship. It's about him being a pretty big reason for quite a few playoff runs as to why they flamed out when they flamed out. He has culpability. He has something to do with it. And for too long, this dude has been safeguarded by loyalty and hiding behind some game-winning shots that ultimately led to nothing. <laughs> but anyway, that might be a little unfair on my part, but just saying. Now, I can admit that might be a little bit unfair. There's a lot of players that hit game winners, but because they didn't win the championship, you know, whatever. But this is Damian Lillard, folks. Please stop safeguarding this guy. Please keep it consistent. Please stop using excuses, but he's loyal. But he's loyal. Because there's been other loyal players out there. Maybe he haven't been loyal as long, but they never got that excuse, man. They never. Their feet got held to the fire by criticism and scrutiny. And Damien's just walking around in the shade. The sun is starting to breach Earth's atmosphere. Everybody's getting roasted by the media and everybody else. And Damian Lillard's just cool, cooling, cooling, cooling.
Got a pina colada in one hand, a brisk tea in the other hand. And it's so funny to me how when Damian Lillard talks, like he always talks about how management more or less has failed to put a team around him. Like he he never, I feel like, I ain't going to say he never takes responsibility, but from the bits I hear and the things he be saying off on his own, and I, I've never seen a player like just stay around with a franchise and, 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 and really do that for this long. And it's almost like he's just cleverly deflecting almost any type of blame or responsibility. Always talking about teasing about playing with other teams, but yeah, you know, it'd be dope to play with this player and this player. And, you know, you know, wish I had a team around me, uh, but you know, I'm loyal. I want to stick it out here because I, I ain't cut from that cloth. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to join, uh, you know, a super team. Nobody's asking you to join a super team. I don't, I don't care where you go personally. All I want is a consistent, consistent treatment across the board with you and the rest of your contemporaries. Seriously. Even with Chris Paul, Chris Paul has failed to get it done. And even to some degree, Chris Paul isn't met with the level of scrutiny as other players are that haven't won championships. There have been series where Chris Paul was injured. They had, they, he, had, he had a lot of good teams and some great teams. There are series where Chris Paul got injured. And he's a main part, understand. And there were also some series where they just failed to get it done. But it was rarely because Chris Paul wasn't engaged or Chris Paul didn't perform. I can honestly say that. But he, as a leader, he bears the responsibility. I get it. But let us add the context. Whatever, man. I'm done, man. Yeah, I just wish the safeguarding and the cap would stop for Damian Lillard, man. Just, just keep it 100 I'll be the first one to tell you, sometimes numbers lie. Put the, Apply context. But these numbers that I gave to you, I saw everything happen. It's backed up. It's legit. This happened. This happened. Sorry, Dame fans. Say I don't know basketball. Say I'm a hater because I don't hate. Like I said, I was a big Dame fan for a while. But I, I, I just got to see the energy kept consistent is all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.